YouTube recently recommended a video to me from Word Porn that claimed to be President Kennedy's last speech and the one that got him killed. This is typical of the sensationalistic and dishonest misinformation that conspiracy theorists love to spread. And as you can see, with more than a million views, they've been very successful at it. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret society, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence. Through the magic of selective editing, word porn cut together less than two minutes from a 19-minute speech to make it seem as if JFK was warning Americans about an unnamed secret group like the Illuminati, Freemasons, or Jews who assassinated him before he could fully expose them. This is utter nonsense. His actual speech was given on April 27th, 1961, more than two and a half years before he was killed. It was entitled The President and the Press and was given in front of the American Newspaper Publishers Association. JFK was defending the need of his administration to keep secrets from the public in the fight against global communism. He was asking the press not to publish sensitive information during the Cold War with the Soviet Union, just as they would not publish sensitive information in any other war. At the same time, he was acknowledging the vital role that the press plays in a free society and the need to hold government officials accountable so they do not abuse their power to keep secrets. And no official of my administration, whether his rank is high or low, civilian or military, should interpret my words here tonight as an excuse to censor the news, to stifle dissent, to cover up our mistakes, or to withhold from the press and the public the facts they deserve to know. But I do ask, but I do ask every publisher, every editor, and every newsman in the nation to re-examine his own standards and to recognize the nature of our country's peril. In time of war, the government and the press have customarily joined in an effort based largely on self-discipline to prevent unauthorized disclosures to the enemy. President Kennedy was a true believer in America, in our ideals and in our system of government. He was proud to serve as president and in Congress before that and in the Navy during World War II, a war where his older brother lost his life for this country. He would not have approved of today's conspiracy culture and government-hating mentality in any way. In fact, the last speech he actually gave was on the morning of his death, November 22nd, 1963, before the Fort Worth Chamber of Commerce, where he reiterated his love and faith in America. This is a very dangerous an uncertain world. We would like to live uh, as we once lived, but history will not permit it. The balance of power is still on the side of freedom. We are still the keystone in the arch of freedom, and I think we will continue to do as we have done in our past, our duty. I'm confident, as I look uh, to the future, that our chances for security, our chances for peace, are better than they've been in the past. And the reason is because we're stronger. And with that strength is a determination to not only maintain the peace, but also the vital interests of the United States. 